Yes, and good morning, folks. It's four minutes to four on the 4th of June, 2020. I thought I'd try an early one. Actually, I didn't think it. I just woke up and uh, thought, oh, come on. It's a bit misty, though. Thought I'd um, pop down to bit and hide first. I haven't um, made the time to uh, go and see the barn house and um, the light should be good. Just heard a cuckoo a moment ago and uh, I'll literally be gone shortly any day. So far mostly just blackbird, song thrush, a little burst of chiff chaff a moment ago, robin. Well, that was a classic. I was, um, I think the technical term is faffing about with my phone listening to Golden Oil um, because I've been hearing a blackbird that has a note quite similar to a Golden Oil call. I saw one picture of one in the hand on Twitter the other day. And I looked up through the flap and I could see the barn owl circling quite high up. Well, about sort of roughly the height of the box. little higher and um, I think it just dropped into the uh, big oak tree behind the box oh no it's, it's coming across to the left there okay left in the shadows just gone into the tree the oak tree just there I'll carry on recording oh it's gone Come back up nearer to us, and um, it's getting mistier. I think we're approaching the dew point. About half four now. Um, amidst all that recording, I heard another um, two or three calls off to my left towards a big old poplar um, that certainly reminded me of Golden Oriole. Yeah, it's obviously my subconscious brain has got somewhat locked in, obsessed, if you will, about the possibility, uh, which isn't really a viable possibility, but good grief, we had a night heron last year, hooded crow this year. Um, there are limitations, but uh, I have to say I'm ever more of the belief that mainly anything could happen. Just a teeny bit similar, but it's enough to distract my ear. So, got to uh, leave farm, of course, and um, it's nowhere near as misty as I expected it to be. And the great news is, the you might be able to tell from the uh, island just to the left here, is the water has continued to fall really quickly, so uh, it's confirmed what i was hoping for when we did the dig last year is that exposing the um entrance to the pipe the only place that the water escapes lee farm lake that it sped up that process significantly compared to the previous 15 years so for me that's a big success and um it just means that the breeding birds that were affected by that flooding um can now just crack on 
and get knuckled down to um, bashing out some families. Just scan the uh, shingle island out front here. And I can see there is a few turns out on there. I'm going to do a count in a minute and uh, get the scope up. Let's have a little look around. As you can tell, still pre-sunrise. It's not five o'clock yet, still. Won't be long. And, um, yeah, it's a beautiful still morning. So, as you can see, the uh, Great Crested Greaves just climbed up on the bank as I was getting ready to film. And uh, I'm going to zoom in a bit more. Turns are um, I mean, they look to me like several are already sitting. Counted 10 birds a minute ago. A couple just flew off. I wouldn't be at all surprised if we end up with six, seven, eight pairs on the shingle island. And to focus on the left hand raft. Just about to make out the uh, head of a bird in the left hand corner there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could that be seven, eight, nine birds sitting? Could be. It's awfully crowded in there. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the other raft. And perhaps the reality is the um, flooding took out. Uh, all the uh, black of the gull nests on Sanford as well. Uh, and despite our best attempt, just one more bird, bird turn jumping in. Um, leaving the raft, second raft out till late, that there was just so many displaced black of the gulls that they are pretty much swamped with them. And um, in terms of sort of not being fully ousted as we already see, but maybe more have just decided do you know what? We're going to go to the Shingle Island. My fingers are crossed that there's going to be no more significant rain now because there's been plenty of uh, years gone by when the terns have been very successful out on the Shingle Island. They are more vulnerable to mink attack, um, but nonetheless, they can do it. When I'm uh, out early like this, and there's just so much time to sit peacefully and just contemplate it all the uh, serenity of it all it's just lovely but it, I feel it definitely runs deeper than just lovely I think it, it, it gen, genuinely I think it energises the soul it has healing power uh, as I believe the sun does too. Um, but um, as I was getting out of the car this morning, because I knew it was like 10, 11 degrees, it was misty, in other words, it was warm, not freezing like it was back in April. Um, I was like, all oh, right, better put the insect repellent on. Um, and sitting here, you know, you scratch your nose or put your chin on your hand or whatever a second while you're leaning, looking. And that little smell of mosquito insect repellent um, wafts up and it reminds me of being in the Philippines. The birding doesn't, but the smell of the, the um, mosquito repellent um, makes me think of those early mornings I would be out. I haven't been for five years and... Um, We'll hope to go again. Some places I'd love to revisit. Some places I've never been to that I want to visit. And um, yeah, that's going to be a, a nice experience again. And uh, hopefully one I'll be able to share on my channel too. So um, it's um, great to be out here. I said in a uh, post on our little WhatsApp group that um, we should uh, very much be expecting a green sandpiper 
any minute. Last year I had one on the 2nd of June, which is incredibly early. I think the next one was like 7th or 9th. Um, it's only the 4th today. Um, traditionally it would be sort of round about the sort of 15th to 17th, 18th, the first birds start heading back through. Uh, conditions are perfect for one out here, so um, uh, I'll probably give it one last little look in a minute and see what happens. Gorgeous morning. <laughs> 